Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create your very own game for free within your web browser. But unfortunately, there is a little bit of a catch. The website we will be using is 100% free, but they do also have a subscription fee if you want to pay it. Unfortunately, with the free version, you are a little bit limited to what you can do. I'm going to go ahead now and show you the subscription fees. If we boot up the website, the link is in the description below and go across to pricing. As you can see in the free trial, we do get quite a few things. For example, we can do maximum offense, 25. Layers, we can only have two. Special effects, we can have two. And web fonts, we can only have one. You can still run the game maker offline, which is fantastic, and also run it within your web browser. You can also use it on your Android and also your iOS. If we scroll down though, you cannot monetize your game and also you can only export it to the web. But putting all these things aside, you can still have a lot of fun with this game maker. And actually, if you do like it, it's not a lot of money. It's only £79 for the year. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and boot up this game maker. All you need to do, like I said, is click on the link that's in the description below and click launch now. You will now end up with a list of projects, which is great because they are a good starting point so you can get the hang of Construct free. I'm going to load up the driving template by simply pressing open project. And this is what you will end up with. As you can see, this is like a little race course, which is great. You can click on the objects, you can drag them around, you can resize them, you can do whatever you want. You've also got lots of options to the left hand side here where we can change the behaviours of the object. We can change it from solid, we can do basically whatever we want. If I untick solid in theory, that will now be able to move if I hit it with my car. I'm not 100% sure on that because I've not used that option yet, but you know, I would have thought that is going to be the case. On the right hand side here, we have our layers and all our objects and music, fonts, just basically everything's on the right hand side as well. We also have our offense sheet, which is where all the coding happens. As you can see, we have 24 offense remaining which means you can still do a lot of stuff with the free version. Because as you can see here, we have a racing game and that is great. Let's go ahead now and press play and I will show you what it looks like. Here we go, we have our racing game. Let's see if this object moves. No, it doesn't. We obviously need to do a bit of code in there. But yeah, as you can see, I'm driving around, which is very cool. If we now close down the game, we can go to menu, we can then go to project and we can go to export. These are all the platforms that you can export to. But like I said earlier, in the free version, you are limited to where you can export your game to. But like I said, if you want to have a little mess around building some games within a web browser, then this is a fantastic website to take a look at. I hope this little video has helped and given you an idea of where to make games when in your web browser. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.